feeling like the world is wrecked. Wanna jump right up and walk outside, taking the morning light. Feeling rising running through me makes me wanna dance. Clap my hands and dance. Sometimes I just have a thing. Smile and make my day complete. That feeling in it makes me tap my feet. Clap hands and dance. choice? <laughs> Matt Tibbs. Rachel Foster. Good to meet you. My pleasure. <laughs> hey, uh, can I try that? Well, sure. You be careful now, though. It's loaded. All right. <laughs> My dad always wanted a boy. <laughs> Pretty good shooting. See, you're all the way from Florida, huh? Yeah, Daytona Beach. Yeah, I get it. Nice place. I said, let's go, Daryl. Mr. Tibbs. These one night stands must be pretty lonely for a sweet young lady like yourself, huh? Maybe we could get together later on and uh, you and me could discuss a uh, longer engagement, huh? No, thanks. I gotta get an early start in the morning. You understand. Mr. Dryden, Rachel Foster. I'm calling to confirm our gig for this Friday night. Burned down? Well, what can I say? I'm sorry about that.
What a dump. Money. Well, that's what you got there, Miss Wasser. We agreed on a flat 50. True, but then there's uh, $15 for the room, and then there's meals and uh, two drinks. And... Hey, wait a minute. We agreed on a flat 50, no deductions, no nothing. Now, I want my money. And what about withholding taxes? Now, we wouldn't want Uncle Sam chasing that pretty backside of yours all over, would we? I wouldn't do that, Miss Foster. You're an asshole, Mr. Tibbs. Lucas, you hear what the young lady called your baby brother? Sheriff, he's trying to cheat me. You must be mistaken, miss. Matt wouldn't go do a thing like that. <laughs> I'll put it back. You got yourself a bad temper, Miss Foster. Yeah. I wonder why. Y'all come back now, you hear? Jump right up and walk outside Taking the morning light Feel the music running through me Makes me want to dance Clap my hands and dance Sometimes it just takes my baby To smile and make my day complete That's a feeling can make <laughs>
Johnny home? No. I came in to use the phone. My my car got stuck. I I did use the phone. The jury really expected to believe that you just happened along while little Daryl Willis was executing his entire family. You've got to believe me. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, that fine boy who now lies in a coma and who doctors say will never regain consciousness was not a mass murderer. You have now seen the evidence. There can be only one verdict. I am innocent. Rachel Foster, you have been found guilty of murder in the first degree. Under the laws of this state, I have no other choice but to sentence you to life in prison. You will forthwith be bound over to the Department of Corrections, whereupon you will be taken to Gates Correctional Facility for service of sentence. Mickey's head. Debbie, can you find Mickey's head? Is this Mickey's head?
Debbie's not making much progress. It's Rita. And at least she's making some progress, Warden. We've come very close with this one. Good fool of me. Where's Mickey's head? There's Mickey's head. Move it, Tilt, you're not going to the prom. How far down is that? <laughs> Granny's back. It's awfully cold for them down there. This one's interesting. <clears throat> Murdered four complete strangers. Prior record, sentenced for life, no living relatives. Jones, Tanya L. Here? Can't keep your ass off the streets, can you? No, ma'am. Weiler, Jimmy C. How are you, Jimmy? Just fine. Foster, Rachel B. Here. Now, if I was hard of hearing, which I ain't, that would have gone right by me. So you just speak up. Here, ma'am. Remember, Princess, when you see me, when you speak to me, all you have is unabiding respect. Look at me. Respect. Red lines are your boundary lines. Prisoners are not allowed behind any red line. Any prisoner found behind a red line will be given a 115. Give me my respect and I'll give you yours.
Back to your cells. Back to your cells. Lights up. Five minutes. Excuse me. I can't find the light switch. That's all part of room service. Now close it up. Block 15, all secured. Block 15, secured. Someone there. Who's there? Someone there. Any trouble in there? My door won't close. Put in a requisition for the court file, Sheriff, and I'll be in Putnam next week to pick them up. Now, it would be very helpful if I could get a copy of your investigation report at the same time. I have a few specific questions regarding Miss Foster. Real quiet type, huh? Good way to be. Yeah. They're scared of that. Especially if she's a fish. First timer. I figured she must have done something really bad. Sister might even be off a rocker. They built this place right over the old foundation. If you don't mind, this ain't a sightseeing tour.
got one Rachel B. Foster for you. Hey. You can call me Mover. Mover? Yeah. We get it done. Somebody up there must like you, huh? Garden's the best job in the whole joint. at 7.30 p.m. in the dining hall. Attendance is mandatory for all prisoners booked on drug charges. That is all. Get out here and pull my coat. What coat? I mean, tell me if a screw's coming. I got a little girl back home just waiting on me. Go pull your own coat. Oh, you nice ass. When Jim tells you to do, you do. <coughs> hey, Ben. Lay off the muscle. This young fish better get a little ass wised up before she gets it chewed off. Don't let it scare you. I'm close by if you need me. March over to that chair. Stay put and don't touch. Attention, girls. It is against prison rules to walk on the grass at any time. Any prisoner found walking on the grass will be given a 115. That is all. She's awfully graceful, isn't she? And a hell of a lot of f trouble. Hello, Rachel. I'm Dr. Klein, the facility psychiatrist. Be seated. I'm going to be giving you a battery of tests. But first off, I'd like some information. Now, your records indicate that you have no living relatives. That's right. Friends, then. Surely you've contacted someone since the arrest. I have no one. Oh. Is this your hobby? Entomology, yes. <laughs> They're something, aren't they? Personally, I prefer things when they're alive. Quite a collection of live ones, too. I'd love to share them with you sometime, if you'd be interested. Rachel, I hope you can see that I want to be your friend. I'm willing to make the effort, if you'll work with me. I am your friend. As I know, it gives me the creeps. Oh, forget him. He's just another weirdo shrink without all his marbles.
Hey, are you playing or admiring the artwork? Say, who does the interior decorating around here, anyway? You got me. Wasn't there yesterday. I've made spinach, lamb chops, and fresh mashed potatoes. I always make them fresh. I can't stand anything instant. Delicious, doesn't it? Eat your potatoes, Rita. Eat your mashed potatoes, Rita. Potatoes. Rita? Be a big girl. Sometimes it just takes a baby. I wanna jump right up and walk outside. I wanna jump right up and. Has anybody ever escaped? <laughs> that ain't so smart. Well, I wasn't thinking about doing I was just curious. <laughs> I hit the fence back in 59. <laughs> Almost made it, too. <laughs> no! Wrong! Yeah. Turn faster there! Mover made it. Mover made it. She wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for her worthless husband. They hit a jewelry store. Oh, it was a classy job. But he was picked up and he blabbed. From state's evidence. She was a brain. He was a bum. Bum! See that? Nobody can ever get that off me. They have to cut my finger off to get that ring off. I was married to a good man. Never lose a good man. Let me give you some advice. If you're gonna stay in this business, don't get caught. Don't get caught. Ah! Ah! That's the way to go. I got three boxes of good and plenty on this game.
chin. Dr. Klein to see you. Send him in. I'm afraid we've had a bit of bad luck. All this paperwork, this new reform regulations have turned me into a clerk. <laughs> I know what you mean. Rita's dead. I'll need your Jane Hancock on her death certificate. Suicide by him. Your theories. Your theories. <gasps> Break them down. Turn them into infants. Raise them like our own. Oh, God, how could I? I wanted rehabilitation to be something more than a catchphrase to ensure once they left here, they wouldn't be back. And now, after three failures, yes, failures, we can add murder to our list of achievements. Well, I, I think one could conclude that if there were an investigation. Investigation? Yes. But I'm sure there won't be. These things happen, even in the best of prisons. Your signature. It's a nice quiet touch. Not even anything written down about her. If ever she did, it must have been a doozy. Where is she now? Some of them go out. Privilege they work for. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Pam. Really can't listen to them anymore. Yakking away. Half of them speculating on what you're in here for. The other half on whether you're liberated woman. <laughs> I know what you're in here for. I read the newspapers in the library. Let me tell you, the place is a loony bin. There are more nuts per square inch here than a nut house, staff included. And they're cruel, too. Take pets, for example. If they see you with one, they take it away. Hey, Rachel, do you want to see Lewis? Lewis? You can't tell anyone, okay? I Say hi to Rachel. <laughs> hi, Lewis. Do you want to touch him? No, no thanks. He's really cute and everything, but no thanks. says he goes to sleep thinking about me. No, I figure the least I can do is look good for him. Back to your cells. Back to your cells. Lights out in five minutes.
Morning, Rachel girl. Have a nice sleep. Let's get a move on. Pam's dead. Is that right? Well, we better report this here to the warden. Because Pam was paroled yesterday afternoon. Now get dressed while I throw you in the rack. Solitude, the loss of freedom, the aftermath of your crime, all these play terrible tricks on the mind. No, I don't believe it. I have never claimed to be a genius, but I know what I know, and I know somebody's trying to frighten me. Do you hear yourself, Rachel? Can you hear yourself? That's classic paranoia. Take one of these before bed. We'll help you sleep. Don't listen to me! I'm sorry. We'll help you sleep. Someone order a work slowdown? Doesn't matter. Did you know Pam? Sure I knew Pam. I knew her. Not like Jimmy did. What a broad. Cut her loose yesterday. She'll be back. Nearly 50% of all traffic fatalities are alcohol-related. That's a staggering figure of 26,000 deaths a year. And that's only traffic deaths. Alcohol kills in many other ways, too. Alcoholism has been defined as a chronic, progressive, incurable, and fatal illness. It is a chronic illness because once you have it, you have it forever. It is progressive because until it is arrested, it continues to get worse. It has also been demonstrated that alcoholism is incurable. Hi, baby. However, it can be arrested, and many recovered alcoholics continue to live happy, normal lives. And finally, unless caught and arrested in time, alcoholism is fatal. A person who has managed to arrest alcoholism is still an alcoholic, a recovered alcoholic. Remember what we said earlier. Alcoholism is an incurable but arrestable illness. Fortunately, for today's alcoholic, there are many avenues available for help. The most commonly known is AA. Alcoholic.
Where are you going, girl? Where are you going? Problem, Rachel? That car. It's nice, isn't it? It's always garaged. Mother certainly knew how to take care of an automobile. from dinner. Hey, you haven't eaten in two days. And there ain't no way to survive in this place. Gotta help. Gotta get out of here. Not me. Hear no evil, see no evil, do no evil. Gotta escape. Don't you know them guards use live ammunition? Live. Help me. I'll ask around. But don't you breathe a word of this to nobody, you hear me? I'll have my ass, too.
Attention, girls. This month's concert will feature Lucifer and the Archangels from the Sugar Time Club in Reno. Attendance will be mandatory. That is all. Do you look uh, hot for a game? What do you say, uh, two boxes of juicy fruit, hmm? Great. Okay. You know, my uh, dentist tells me that sweets ain't no good for my teeth, but uh, he's just an asshole anyway. Piss off. Yeah, well, I uh, would have walked all over anyway. I'm gonna hit the fence. Same as last time, through the prison basement. Doctor won't be in until the morning. Okay, roll up your sleeve.
things around me, party things in front of me. Oh, strange things are in my face.
deserve a great deal of credit, including Sarah. She's progressing at a pace I never dreamed. Rachel. Sarah. How are you, Sarah? Can you hear me? You call that progress? Mickey's head for me, Sarah? That. Very good. Warden Weber and I are very proud of our little girl. Aren't we, Warden? In six months, She'll be a different human being. Totally rehabilitated. The full implications of all this won't be known for several months. But all signs indicate that our experiment will be very successful. As agreed, for your participation, Dr. Klein and I have forwarded recommendations to the Parole board for your early release. And I thank you for your help. Yes. Well, <clears throat> now I would like to introduce you to someone you've never met before. Sarah Jane Walker. Sarah Jane? This is Tanya. This is Pam. You see how well she's progressing? She will soon grow into a sweet, loving, truly nonviolent human being. Looks delicious, doesn't it? Eat your potatoes, Sarah.
Now, what could be so important that you couldn't tell me over the phone? She's innocent. But... The Willis boy came to, he did kill his entire family. You could falsify the release. She can live at my house. We must have more time. We have already done enough. Release her now, and both our careers are finished. On Friday morning, Rachel Foster will be released from Gates Correctional Facility. Everyone has a home, Sarah. Everyone has a home. I have a home, Sarah. I have a home. Everyone needs a home, Sarah. Everyone needs a home. You have a home with us, Sarah. You have a home. Home. And you're safe here, Sarah. You're safe here. Safe. But she wants to send you away. She doesn't love you anymore. 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 Dr. Klein, I was just looking for you. The warden's in your office. Thank you. Is that you, Rachel? How pretty you look. Say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We're going home today, aren't we? I feel good all over. Good morning, Rachel. All they need is your signature for the medical. Certainly. You've signed thousands just like it. Get on with it already. <laughs> Don't rush me, Warden. This is a very special case, and we want everything to go exactly right, don't we? Why is she looking at me like that? My guess is that she's thinking how much she's going to miss you. This is one last game you're playing. I don't appreciate it. No, 
My. Aren't you a trifle testy this morning? You know, our little girl really was hurt. Cried herself to sleep. And now, she's beginning to have doubts about your feelings toward her. Now, what's that supposed to mean? You know, you really shouldn't take that tone with me, Warden. You always have, and I've never liked it. I have the feeling that you don't like me. And if I'm not mistaken, Sarah has that same idea. You see, she's very impressionable. And I think now that she thinks you don't love her anymore. Sarah, she doesn't love you anymore. In case you hadn't noticed, she responds only to me. Sarah. No, please, Rachel. Please, listen to me, child. The boy confessed. You're innocent. Sarah, she doesn't love you anymore. Please, Rachel. Sarah, she doesn't love you anymore. She doesn't love you anymore. You're innocent, Rachel. Sarah. Please. Taking the morning light. Feel the music running through me. Makes me want to dance. Clap my hands and dance. Sometimes it just takes my baby to smile and make my day complete. That's a feeling can make me tap my feet. Clap hands and tap your feet. Feeling like you know you're lucky. People, they 